Hi, good morning. Our group is named NSYNC, and we have an entertainment site. We did have a site before, but something went wrong, so we created this other site. And this is our site. Hey, for the members, uh, James, Devon, Michael, and me, JT. The API is used with Music Graphs, Spotify, YouTube, Giphy, and Bands in Town. We use the widget just to make sure to describe each one. Yeah, I think he. Uh, so, Music Graph, we use to pull a lot of uh, uh, social media information. Um, Spotify, we use to get songs. YouTube, we use to get music videos and whatever else. Uh, Giphy, we use to display similar artists. Um, you can click on a GIF and see a GIF of the person. Uh, and Bands in Town, a widget, actually brings back. Uh, Ticketmaster information. Well, it brings back the ticket information. We couldn't use the Ticketmaster information or API because um, you had to become a, um, a partner to be able to get that information. So we decided not to go that far. And But if we go further with this application, we we'll probably will do that. Yeah. We'll just keep it. We'll go to the next one. Oh. Text used was uh, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, Ajax, Fire, Firebase, and Numeros JS. Numeros JS was used to uh, format the numbers we got back from um, the music graph. Right yeah. for uh, for the um, for the uh, put it in the table. Right. Yeah. So this is our site. That starts off. Um, I created a logo on a, I just looked up, I was trying to make a logo, I didn't know how to, I don't have Photoshop, I don't really know, so I just looked up on like the uh, Apple uh, App Store, and I just looked up like Logo Maker, and came up with something that gives you kind of simple little tools, and I made something real quick. Um, then on our old site, we were trying to work something out, it didn't wind up working out as a mobile friendly type thing, so we wound up using a bootstrap, and um, but Prior to that, I found like a search bar type of thing. So we implemented that into the bootstrap that we found. And then I kind of styled it as transparent. I created um, basically what you see here. Um, so you, as, soon as, you, as soon as you start typing, it, it, it'll turn that gray type to a, a white, a floral white type. And then you could search and then click that little arrow. It, it brings it down to here, where it uh, shows you social media information. It'll say like Twitter followers on which which social media site. So it has like Instagram, Vivo, um, Twitter. Yeah. No, just any any Facebook. site they can find that artist on. It'll give you the information back, like how many posts they had, and then it'll show you the artist here. Like when, once you put it in the field, it'll show the artist, the YouTube, and all that filled out will show you. Exactly. And then under this, under this div that we created, it shows um, the symbol artist in GIF format. So it will like show the, the name of the artist, and then underneath it show like the GIF. If you click on it, it'll give away. You'll and see that on the site. I just want to say that the slides are made in beta form. So yeah. They're not, it's not right. You'll see when we demonstrate. Let's, let's sync. And then we created a little chat for the users to kind of interact on. It'll always stay there. It's a Firebase. Um, so, and then it gives us a link to our Twitter, our GitHub, and the Facebook we use. And then we just use the footer. Okay, about it. So, next slide, demonstrate. Yeah. So, we'll demonstrate now. Big skate. That's the next slide. Just done a slide, though. That's the next slide. Yeah. There's one more. <laughs> one, one, Make three. Make sure you spoke it right. You gotta do it again. Press backspace. One, two. Backspace. It may come up, though. I don't know. It will not come up. No? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we actually use the uh, validator on the uh, input. So if you we'll do that one after. Stars or anything it should be. Out in America, uh, characters. Just click that arrow. It brings it down. So we, uh, we pulled the main and the picture from uh, Spotify specifically. Um, it also uh, 
It will play a song if the speaker's wrong. Um, and then uh, under that, we have a YouTube video, and that's actually their full album. Uh, and then we have Twitter, all of the links to their specific Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Last FM TV, uh, Spotify pages. Uh, we have a little explanation of what each, uh, what each means, and whether or not his followers like. See, we only have one uh, coming up on uh, one in Minnesota. Yeah, one uh, performance coming up. If you click, and click on tickets, that'll take you to uh, Ticketmaster. Yeah. Similar artists, you get people who are uh, similar to them. So <coughs> their name and uh, clickable gift. So you click on the gift, and it should show up. Uh, some little. Uh, Just like our homework. <laughs> and at the bottom here you have the uh, Firebase chat, so you can chat the people who are uh, on there, so you can say like, I like uh, Taylor Swift or somebody like that, and you guys can all talk about Taylor Swift together, and show you. Uh, then we have links to our Twitter, Instagram, and uh, we click on, uh, click on the GitHub. So what do we have, it, uh, the person really wants to, they can come that source, source code by looking at my, uh, my GitHub account. Uh, we have, you go back and click on the Twitter. So you can click on the Twitter. We actually have a Twitter account. Uh, well, it's Discover MF has Twitter. Yeah, that's our company. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have an Instagram account as well. Uh, may you may have missed one. I didn't even know that. No logo there. All right, in the future, we want to add uh, some, some sort of uh, Wikipedia um, support because I want to give a little synopsis of the artist as well uh, with a band think. search. Um, we're also looking to be a little bit button. more user-friendly. Uh, this works on mobile, which was a big part of the... Because uh, we had originally created, created like two sites, and the first site was looked good, it was pretty, but once you went to mobile, it looked really, really bad. So we had to switch it to something more mobile-friendly. That's why we ended up using uh, Bootstrap. You want to show the old site? We can take it to the slides. What? The old site. Oops. Oh, it's in the slides. It's in the slides. You have to, you have to hit it. Ah, oh. oh, Apple. It's open. Okay. Where's it there on the side? Is it on the side? I can navigate better when it's on the side. No. Because this, this slides went out of whack. What was it the last one? Last one. Oh, yeah, I was also it? thinking about instead of uh, using a live chat, using like a, a discuss thing. And we were actually thinking about instead of having everything be on the same page, actually going to a different page so each artist has all of their own like creative page. So that way, which page was it on? People leave comments which ones? to the, the artist, the old site. But yeah, just overall, just make it more user friendly, and so so people can log in, and, you know, keep their information that they, you know, kind of just store it and that way so you can always go back and you know check out whatever artists you search for it's not working basically yeah so that's the end of our presentation <laughs> the little slides are not a lot of music. the slides are all out of a lot any questions well, we're discovering that Discover MF. We're not actually music just finder. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, what was the framework? The like CSS that you used? Uh, we used Bootstrap. Uh, That's the Bootstrap. Old yeah. Oh, wow. This is this is, this is our original the original one artist. that we created. It actually had a different name back then too. Uh, but yeah, it was it worked pretty well, and it's actually switches different colors, which is cool. But yeah, so we're, we're trying uh, to do something. <laughs> it did not work on mobile, so we had to. Do yeah, it we just wanted to make it look a lot cleaner. Yeah, it's pretty. Like, Actually, yeah. three. Yeah. yeah. Is that your first iteration? No. Well, we didn't get that far because we couldn't get any of the APIs actually to work yeah. that we were going to use. And uh, they, everything that was returned was only in XML, not in JSON. Uh, JSON. Yeah. Could you show us what it looks like mobile? Could you oh, yeah. Like yeah. Sure, just an exercise. Just moving in. Just moving in. Just three sides.
because that was so hard. Well, like I said, we're becoming a partner with uh, Ticketmaster, so we can sell the tickets when uh, they go to uh, uh, on here, rather than using band. Because well, we're using Bands in Town's uh, widget to uh, display that, but but of course, if you go to uh, well, Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster would actually get the money, and not you. Yeah. So you have to become a so you have to become a partner to actually use their APIs to uh, able to do that. We also have uh, advertisements and uh, maybe a partnership with. Uh, Specifically, Vivo, because sometimes you run into issues with copyright on their videos. Uh, sometimes it doesn't happen all the time for whatever reason. But or yeah, even directly, like directly working with an artist is like huge. Yeah, yeah. Working with those artists, like reaching and out. Yeah, and, and that's like, what you I know, was talking about. Having we want each to artist you guys own, on each, the site. Artist, each artist having their own page would be a good thing. That way, it would be um, yeah. devoted to that artist or that band. That'd be huge. Yeah. Uh, who worked on Blight? And who, like, who's the product manager? I worked a lot of front end stuff like the CSS and yeah, I, like say, I did the search yeah. bar stuff and you they did they did the huge back, back uh, end we stuff. did the APIs I did a lot of self music graph yeah. I did the um, the Giphy yeah and I would say JT was a project manager he was a uh, yeah was well I was gonna end. work on Google yeah. Maps but we couldn't figure out a way to put it in the in the in thing so yeah, we didn't we're, put it we didn't put it in there yeah so then, yeah, time, he was project yeah. manager he was back end front end and I was full stack because I was everywhere. Huge yeah. team effort. Like we were all like big managers and like <laughs> like to shoot like shooting stuff. We were always talking to each <laughs> yeah, other. Yeah. I don't know. We were all like there was not like one person that really like you know. Did you go back to the slide with the guys? Okay. Yeah, all you did is work this thing. Who's what? <laughs> Who's what? Fun to work with. What the API? Yeah, just the API. List. Should be like one yeah. of the, the second slides. Yeah, the slides are are like. Can you talk louder? I can't hear you. Well, like I said, we kind of this is our second uh, iteration. Yeah, we had our first. We had a first idea. We had actually two first ideas about more environmental uh, you know, driven ideas, and uh, this was kind of our bad. And just this came on from what we were able to find. Yeah, right. Yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. by that time we're kind of uh, got for a little more time because we were kind of behind because yeah, we right. did spend a little more time on the front, on the, the first. first stuff. So. Yeah, I would say basically we were, and we also thought about like, you know, if you wanted to search for an artist, you had to go to all the different sites. So we kind of wanted to put it all in one, one space so you can see. And, you know, uh, we started looking at different APIs and what they can offer. And it also looked like we can offer a lot more. So we started adding more to the site as we, as we went on. And we'll probably add more once, um, you know, once we start version two, you would say. Yeah. Very fast. Go ahead. Come on. Well, were you going to see something for Mike? Mike wanted to see something, didn't he? He wanted to see the. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Just pull it up. That's the first thing. Go to the site and then go to the GitHub. Go to about and chat. Go all the way down. Oh, yeah. There's, there's also functioning tabs that goes down to the page, I'd say. Um, yeah. Open up. But she wanted to go to assets. API, right? Assets. Assets. JS. Where is that? Music Graph. Music Graph is in graph. social media. Mm. Where is it? Social media, JS, I think it's called. Okay. You can talk about that. Yeah, that's right. Well, first of all, you put in the uh, the artist and did a search against the... Uh, Could you increase the size? How yeah, do you do that? Just, uh, you can use the tabs. You can tell me that used the Apple app. Well, I'm not an Apple person, so it's <laughs> kind of hard. <laughs> Well, first you had to do a search to get the actual artist ID because that was different than the artist. And then you had to, uh, I just did a search on, um, I guess another API that they, on, they had on there to get all the different uh, social media information. 
and then we just display it down the page. You use numerals for the, uh, to get the I think we yeah, use yeah. numerals for, to, to uh, format it properly. Yes? Well, search is actually the button. Okay. Research artist is a, a, just a paragraph uh, tag. And, it's just kind of like a... And the arrow just brings you down to, for a little bit further down the page, rather than doing the scroll. Okay. Right. So, one thing we can think about if you guys end up taking this forward and making it a little bit better, is that that's like the very first thing that stands out is I'm like, it, it just it seems like a little bit... Yeah, you click too much. That yeah, was actually, we discussed that too. Yeah, right. But yeah, that was, that was actually something we were trying to implement. Like, he brought it up immediately. He was like, oh, why doesn't the search, like, scroll automatically, you know? Yeah. So um, that's something that we'll definitely work on. It just, um, I was trying to research it before we actually, we came in and, and showed you guys, but it was a little more complicated than I thought. So uh, something we'll definitely work on. <laughs> Thank you.